Hi, uh, bleh, no, I wasn't ready. I, I had to fidget a little more. Hi, welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Anne Hathaway and I'm here with Hugh Jackman. We're here to talk about our film Les Miserables. Uh, we're going to ask each other some of your questions and then ask each other some of our own. So let's get started. I'll go with the first one. This is from Michelle T. in Miami, Florida. For anyone who has not read the book or seen Les Miserables, what is the one thing they should know before seeing the film? There is singing. <laughs> Quite a bit of singing. Not in the book. Uh, in the, yes, well, in the book. Well, within the book, but it's not a musical <laughs> book. No. Uh, that's, I, I'm pretty sure everyone knows that though, right now, Les Miserables. This I, is the movie musical, a, a movie of the musical. Yes. So, yeah. I can't take anything for granted because I just had a journalist ask me if we did all of our singing live. And uh, I just think at this point, everyone's sick of hearing us talking about it. So. Yeah. Yes, and we're singing live. Yes, we are singing live. Yeah. It? And Anne Hathaway is brilliant. That's all you need to know. Now, you went to great lengths playing the role of Fontaine and I was there to watch it. You lost weight. Mm -hmm. 14 days you lost 15 pounds. Yes. You cut your own hair off on screen. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you wouldn't do for a role, Anne Hathaway? Well, I didn't, I didn't, take my, I didn't lose my teeth. You didn't? In the role. No, that was acting. Right. It's right. all acting. <laughs> I know, I'm such a hack. Um, but my, my general rule about something is uh, I'll only cut it off if it'll grow back. <laughs> so um, I think that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, so far, there hasn't been anything that I, I won't do. There have been times that I've been sent scripts that I really like, but I find the violence to be kind yeah. of uh, not terribly thoughtful. Yeah. So I, I don't like to do unnecessary violence. You have played a lot of physically demanding roles over the years. What was the hardest thing you've ever had to learn to do for a role? I would say this job, probably. This really? job, yeah, because physically, in a way, he's known for his strength, and yet Tom, who wanted me to be unrecognizable mm -hmm. uh, for the story and also to show uh, the passage of time. So that was physically as difficult as Wolverine, for example. But then also emotionally and vocally, the singing in this is probably, I've done a lot of singing, but this is the most difficult. And often it was th all those three things at the same time. So I would say this is the most I've been through, but not the hardest job I've had. Definitely mm -hmm. the hardest job. I've ever had was dressing up in a six foot koala suit. First of all, because I'm six foot two, so it was uncomfortable to begin oh, with. So you had to... Yes. Oh and God, let me it must have been really tight in all the wrong places. And in Australia, it's very hot being inside a koala suit. And, and everybody wants to hug the koala, probably. No. 14 no? year olds want to punch you in the kidneys. <laughs> oh, let's go, let's God. go behind the koala and let's kick him in the kidneys. Yeah. <laughs> I have an unscripted question for you. Okay. Were you ever hung wow. over in the koala suit? That's a really good question. And the answer is probably yes. In fact, the fact I can't remember means definitely yes. <laughs> <laughs> In a musical based on your life, oh. what would be the standout song? Oh my gosh. That's uh, a good question. Well done, Kevin Kay. Without a doubt. Yes. Because if you're doing a musical about my life, mm -hmm. it's going to have my wife in it. And as you know my wife, she is stealing that movie ten times <laughs> over. And it will basically become the Deborah Lee story. And she would choose to sing her own song and it would be, <laughs> On a clear day. And she would change keys about 11 times in <laughs> every line. And, and she'd win an Oscar for and it. And win an Oscar, yeah. Who was the cast member who had like the weirdest, strangest warm-up routine in the cast? I know who I'd say. I, don't, I never thought about it as weird. I mean, it's kind of like when you're doing that. But Sam had a pretty weird yeah, one. Sam. I mean, Sam would like have this meow <laughs> sound that she did. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. Yeah, that was it. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, and I think Amanda had one of my favorites because the way Amanda gets herself calm on set is to crack jokes. Yes. So she's just a total delight to be around. There's yes. no you know, kind of tortured artist yes. thing going on. She's actually one of the funniest people ever. Yes. So she had the most delightful. Wicked I sense think, of humor. And I think, I mean, I hate to say this, but I think mine was pretty weird. I mean, I didn't see anyone else jumping on a trampoline. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Did you actually have it on set? I didn't have it on set. I'm not, you know, I didn't no. want to invite that kind of ridicule. <laughs> but um, but I know it was, in my, it was in my trailer and I right. just and it kind of get, got all this moving. I've heard people eating potato chips or drinking lemon juice to keep their voices in shape while singing. What was your method to prepare for singing live oh, on set? Potato, potato chips? Potato chips. I'm going to try that. I mean, that was not an option for either of us on this no. film, but that would be the best excuse to have a fried bit oh, of potato. Oh, yes. I'm doing this for my vocal warm-up. Uh, I have to. <laughs> 
Man, Hugh, it's is... eleven thirty at night. Yeah, but I'm singing tomorrow. So, man, sea salt and vinegar. It just works yeah. for me. What can I say? Um, I would have lemon water a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I would drink. I would actually count the amount of liters of water I would have. Uh, lovely Lottie would count the cups I would have, because I'd have to have a certain amount of water. The, the basic rule is your, for me, was your vocal cords have to be like a rainforest. So constantly moist and wet and constantly lubricated and drops Ricola, I would have those, those, um, those chewy ones that you We're talking about doing. a film, by the way. Yes, right. <laughs> and not the films I started out in. These are... You didn't Do know I have about another? That? Oh no, it's unscripted. your unscripted question to me. Oh darn it! Um, that uh, and steaming yeah. twice a day, and yeah. I used to have no coffee. I went off coffee. Well, you don't have coffee anyway, really, do you? I funny enough just started yesterday. Did you really? Press. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I gotta have unscripted with Hugh Jackman. Give me a double espresso. <laughs> um, you have a coffee shop. I have a coffee shop. I I'm have a to coffee check it out. snob, so going off coffee for six months was brutal. That must have been really. Oh, I had to yeah. go off of it for Dark Knight. Um, same thing. Just really? Cause, yeah, just because I'm I'm a little I'm a little unhealthy with it. Like I would I, I realized I realized when I was drinking coffee in the, at the gym that I yes. probably <laughs> needed to try another <laughs> avenue into the character. <laughs> but okay, I have an unscripted question. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the spot a little bit. Do yeah. you carry vegan baked goods at your coffee shop? No. Will you start? Yes. I'll make it easier for you. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you, Anne. <laughs> I want to thank you for everything you've ever done. No, I want to thank you. <laughs> Um, and most importantly, thank you to Movie Phone and for you all for watching and uh, for sending in your questions. I hope we didn't butcher them too much or give you too boring an answer. Thank you. This no, is to you, Movie Phone. Yeah. See you, Movie Phone. Stay healthy. And that was unscripted. <laughs>